Alright guys, that's the lab time again and we have a basic OSPF configuration lab for you. We have five steps to accomplish. We have five routers in our topology and we need to configure OSPF for the network above. Okay, here is area 0, here is area 10 and here is area 20 as you can see. Rather one should be a ASPR, this guy should be an ASPR which redistributes the static routes. Okay, these are the static routes. This is an external routing domain. And these routes should not increase their metrics while they are passing over the network and should have be should have a beginning OSPF cost of 200. Alright? And all routers should have a router ID that is similar to their names. Okay. What is saying in here is we need to redistribute these routes. We are going to talk about redistribution later. And I'm going to show you deeply what is redistribution. But basically, if you want to make a communication between routing, different routing protocols or between static routing and dynamic routing protocols, we need to use redistribution. Okay, and if we are redistributing into OSPF, we have three two options. If we are redistributing as an E1, the routes are increasing their metrics. If we are if we are redistribute if we redistribute with E2, routes don't increase their metric. So we are going to use E2 redistribution in this example because it's saying us that all route I'm sorry, it's saying us that these routes should not increase their matrix. All right. Secondly, after configuring first step, we are going to take a look which router is DR and which is BDR for area zero. Okay. Then we are going to define router one DR in area zero and we are going to define router two and three not to be DR or a BDR. Okay. After this configuration, which kind of a neighborship established between router 1, 2, and 2, and 3. Okay, we'll check. Then we are going to configure summarization on ABR and ASPRs. We just have an ASPR, I'm sorry. And for ABRs, which are router 2 and router 3. Okay, let's start with the first guy. I'm gonna configure OSPF for the network above and rather one should be a ASPR which makes redistribution. Alright. Let's go. Alright, let's start with router one. I'm gonna check the interfaces by using show IP interface brief command first and I'm gonna advertise this network by using a router ID with 1111 on OSPF and I'm also redistribute the static routes into the OSPF domain. Alright, Confti router OSPF1 the first thing when I'm making OSPF configuration S should be to defining the router ID. Please keep in mind that if you define the router ID later you need to clear the OSPF process. So the first thing you should do always is to define the router ID. Alright, router ID 1111 network Network zero zero two fifty five in area zero, and I'm gonna redistribute the static subnets with a metric of two hundred and 
metric type will be E2. All right, the metrics always will be constantly 200 because I'm using E2. All right, rather one is, okay, let's take a look to this guy. Rather SPF1, rather ID, then I'm going to define the network statements. Zero, zero, belongs to area zero, and ten, zero, for area ten. All right. That seems cool. Show IP interface brief. Please keep in mind that first type show IP interface brief, then advertise the interfaces. All right. Conf D, router ID first. Oh no. Router, router SPF1. Okay. Router ID networks. Zero zero two fifty five in area zero twenty in area twenty. Okay, let's go. Show IP interface brief. We have loop packs in here as well, so we need to advertise them too. Okay. Rather SPF one. Network twenty zero two fifty five in area twenty network ten zero 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 two fifty five in area twenty one What's going on? One, three, and two. All right. Let's go to this guy. Conf the router ID, router SPF one, and router ID five 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 five, five network ten dot zero. In area 10 and 0, 0 in area 10 1 are the loopbacks same or am, am I confusing? Oh no. Okay, in rather one ten ten, rather four is different. Okay, ten twenty. So no problem. We need to add. Oh, we did something wrong. No network will be in area zero. They are gonna belong to. Okay, now they belong to 10. One, two, and three. All right, I finished the configurations. So I'm gonna take a quick look if they're looking correct or not. Show run. Rather ID and okay, I'm not gonna check. One by one, I'm gonna check if there's a problem in the configuration. All right. 
Configure ASP for the work above. Okay. Router one is ASPR and making redistribution. Okay. These routes are not increasing their metrics. All right. I used E2. And they have a beginning metric of 200. All right. I configured. Then all routers should have a router ID similar to their names. All right. The first step is accomplished. In the second, after configuring first step, which router is DR and BDR in area 0? Let's go. Show IP OSPF neighbor is the command that I check for the DRs and BDRs in an area. All right. Router 2 is the BDR in here. So who, who is DR? I couldn't see any DR in here. So show IP OSPF neighbor and DR is router 1 as you can see. All right. DR is router 1 for area 0 and BDR is router 2 for area 0. Second step is OK2. Then Define router 1 as DR in area 0. It's already DR. This guy is already DR now. So I don't need to configure anything else. Then define router 2 and router 3 won't be a DR or BDR. Alright. This guy's this guy is BDR right now. So it won't be a BDR. So this guy also won't be a DR or BDR. So what we're going to do? To configure this guys as to be a not as not to be a DR or BDR, I need to decrease the OSPF priority values on the interfaces. All right, let's go. Rather two Fast 0, 0, IP OSPF priority 0. And router 3. Oh no. Fast 0, 0, IP OSPF priority 0. Then, will the magic happen? Router 2 is speedier right now. And let's see. Okay, both of these guys, 2 and 3, are DR other right now, which means it is not a DR or PDR. Okay, but not OSFP, but as you can see in here, Router 1 is still there. Okay. We accomplished this step too, but we are going to check after the configuration which kind of a neighborship established between router 1, 2, and 2, 3. One, two has a full neighborship. 2 and 3 has a two-way neighborship. The router is within an area makes a full neighborship with designated router and there, there are other routers provide a two-way adjacency with themselves. This is what is what this guy is asking us. All right the first step Configure summarization on ABR routers. On router 2 and router 3, I'm going to configure summarization for this way, which summarizes the loopback IP addresses while I'm sending to router 1. I'm on router 1 and I'm going to 
take a look to show IP route and I'm receiving all these prefixes as you can see I'm receiving these guys from router 4 and router 5 alright what I'm gonna do is to summarize these guys so router 1 will have a smaller routing table okay let's go to router 2 first I'm in router 2 and I'm gonna summarize 1010 area to show IP interface brief and area 10 range 10 10 0 0 255 okay this IP and summit must covers all networks of the all loopbacks of the other guys okay in router 3 area 20 this time range then zero zero and dot zero okay let's go to router 1 again and check what I'm gonna see what I'm expecting is I, w I don't want to see them separately. I just want to see as summarized routes instead of these guys. And I'm receiving them right now as you can see. Just 10, 10, 0, 0 and 10, 20, 0, 0 is what I'm receiving. Okay. I configured summarization on ABR routers too. The last step is saying me that I configure a summarization on ASBR router. This time I'm gonna summarize this static routes and I'm gonna check what's going on. I'm gonna go to router one this time. Router SPF1 and when I'm summarizing by using the ASPR the command is summary address. Summary address 00, zero again and will be this subnet mask and that's it. That's the old thing. Okay guys, I configured the summarization on ASPR router and that's the whole thing we came end of our lab session and thanks for viewing